Hello everyone, welcome to a bonus crossword episode of sorts. Um, I noticed that there is a new puns and anagrams, which I'm not terribly good at, but they're kind of like a cryptic crossword on easy mode, so I thought I'd at least give them a try. I don't remember if I've shown these on camera before. I think briefly. So these are all like wordplay related clues somehow. In this one, for example, there's what, five blanks? Yeah, there's there's five blanks in the clue, and we're supposed to like recognize that this is some well-known saying, I guess, and fill it in with five letters, and those are the five letters we put here. Now, like, it, this is kind of interesting because this looks like grind teeth, right? But like, there's nothing you could put here that makes sense with a comma. You could say grind my teeth, although that's not a, an especially well-known saying. Also, I feel like if there's a space between the words, it should be hinted more clearly, maybe, but I'm not an expert at what they're supposed to do here. Fried. I don't know, I'll, I'll pencil an E in here, I guess. And what is this? No, no, and it's in, it's diagonal. God, what a, why did I sign up for this garbage? Uh, no, no, I don't know. C49 down. With six across, result of a contract dispute. Now, this almost looks like a totally reasonable crossword clue, but they're not gonna have any of those, right? It's a pun or an anagram. Oh my God, I think I actually know what this is. Believe it or not. So my first thought was like, what would happen as a result of a, a dispute about a contract? You might sue somebody if you couldn't resolve the dispute, right? And like, that could be a something suit, right? Four letters ends with suit, or four letters is suit, and then there's like a five letter word in front of it. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe this is like a crossover episode with my bridge series. I bet that what you get from a contract dispute is a Trump suit, because that's what you, 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 the two partnerships in a game of bridge or other bidding game of a bidding card game are kind of fighting over the right to name a contract. And the result is a Trump suit. Kissing outside of one's pad for short. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's look at ones that I have some hints on anyway. Contents of the tackle box. Am I supposed to somehow remove tackle from a, mean, a word for box? I don't know. Followers of dev. Well, OTs can follow dev, devotees, right? Doesn't fit with suit. Hair dryers are full of it. Well, oh, okay, I don't know. Is there some way the word ice could fit here? Like, I'm looking at the l word hair dryers and like there's an eye in there. Ire maybe, maybe they're full of ire, I-R-E. I-R-E maybe. Temporarily gave up before Easter.
don't know. Anti-giant in a New York sports rivalry. Pro... Who else plays in New York? Pro-Met? Would you be Pro-Met? Net? Pro-Jet? I'm pretty sure it's something that ends with Ets. And it's got to be the Mets, right? I don't understand what Pro-Met is supposed to mean, but all right. I was promised more... Puns and anagrams. Brand that competes with Aquafina and is a product of Coca Cola. That's, um. Oh gosh. I should know this. Not like I buy bottled water or anything, but. Hmm. On a better day, I would know it. Later warning, I don't know. Shaky fighter. I like don't even understand how to decode these clues. <laughs> oh, belief at heart. You have core beliefs, and that kind of core means at heart. I don't like that very much. Kind of exam in vector algebra. God, I don't understand the rules. Like, is there something here that's going to tell me, like, how the hell do you play a puns and anagrams puzzle? These are just wordplay in general. This is the New York Times crossword, right? Not, not the puns and anagrams. Yeah, okay. Let me just go back and see if there was something here. Nope, no instructions. All right. Let me actually just look that up in another window here. See, MIT puns and anagrams rules. So they have something here. Puns, so this is from a long time ago, of course. Obvious differences between cryptic and puns and anagrams. So a hybrid between British cryptics and regular Americans, and sure. Undisciplined imitations of the real thing. Okay. Obvious differences. It's fully checked like an American crossword. Yes. Clues that rely on wordplay. The wordplay conforms, conforms to script, strict rules in a cryptic while looser cluing is allowed in puns and anagrams. Cryptic rules are fairly complex. PNA relies more heavily on puns and anagrams. You don't have to learn the conventions of cluing, sure. Okay. Gun for a sledder is loser, which means sledder and also gun. <laughs> a p -p -p parent, yeah, very funny. Use of abbreviations and symbols. $100 off of Acura's, 100 is C, so okay, we removed something that means 100 from the word Acura's. And what is this all about? Hit heater leader. Amphitheater is a word, and I see. You can put amp in front of hit heater, making it lead that to be amphitheater. Huh. 
All right, well, I'm still bad at this. No surprises there, but... Kissing outside of one's pad. Like, what the hell is this about? I want to, like, rearrange the words in fighter here, right? Shaky. I don't know. But... But you can't. It doesn't fit. I'm like, okay. It's not like a cryptic where they have to tell me that it's an anagram. It's a pun's an anagram, so they all are. So Shaky doesn't have to clue that um that it's an anagram shaky maybe maybe there's a word that means both shaky and fighter i don't know ah so this mm, no this is not like a double definition because core or anyway not that i can see Core doesn't really mean belief. It does mean at heart. Are we looking for like the letters in the middle of a word for belief? If so, I don't know what they are. Kind of exam in vector algebra I don't see anything we could assuming promet is correct which I don't know if it is then there's nothing we can anagram that includes an r in the clue so okay let's move on I guess like the children of laborers in exodus ask Whose work is the raven? Well, I mean, the answer is Poe, the answer to that question. So is it it's some sort of pun about Poe, like poet, poem, pose? Like P-O-E-S is an answer, but P-O-S-E is ask a question. And so maybe we anagram the word pose, P-O-E-S, P-O-E apostrophe S, to mean ask, landing at P-O-S-E. Ref work read back to front. So I guess this is the D E O, the O the O E D backwards. That's a typical reference work, read backwards. But usually they try to make these actual words that are just kind of clued in weird ways. And I'm not aware of D E O meaning much of anything. Word a pen might scratch on a tide table. So are there any obvious anagrams that are four letters? We have tide, which could make, say, diet. I don't know what that has to do with a word a pen might scratch on a tide table. We have word. Not really any good anagrams of that, aside from like drow, which is not a word in normal real life. This is like jar going upwards, a jar. Psychoanalysis patients get theirs checked. Hmm. 
You kind of get your ego checked. But it's plural. Maybe ids. But I again don't see how this is a pun or an anagram, really. Something to stare at in a garden. So you could anagram stare. But I don't think that that makes any words that are related to garden. Rates. Tears. Could we put some some word inside of the word, a word meaning garden? I don't know. Spanish train to cross an English river. I don't know what Spanish train is. English river is like Thames, right? And like, why to cross? Freedom of speech. Don't know. Green sight for wildebeests. How many letters are in wildebeests? Too many. Bottle blank, Dracula's alcohol purchase? I mean, blood, right? But. That's not really a pun or an anagram. And it's not alcohol anyway, right? So low, L O, and then we have. B O D, if we could make that an acronym somehow. Hmm. Apologies, obviously, in an ordinary crossword, I would just say sorry here. Wait. So I just had a thought looking at this down. Another thing that could follow dev would be eloper and eloper is a word someone who elopes right um and we could pluralize it and have elopers here but i like trump suit a lot I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence that it happens to work out. Well, tell you what, we'll pencil in uh, uh, lopers and see if it inspires anything in the crosses. At some point. Sweet drinks for trances. Canters? Is that, uh... It's not really a kind of drink, right? Recants? I'm just looking at trances. It's seven letters. You have seven letters here. Carnets? Tarsens, Tarnak, Tarnex. Hmm. Where QBs are roiding. Are we looking for grid iron here? Yes. 
This is gridiron, which is roiding with an extra R. And I guess we're supposed to say that this is the extra R that we need. R roiding. You can then anagram into gridiron. GRI. This almost has to be an N, right? Oh. Is this Nash grind at teeth is to Nash? Yes. Okay. Ah, this is a nose dive. T plural noses are diving. Uh, I spelled nose wrong though. Okay, that's like exciting progress for sure. Shaky fighter. Angry little sucker. Makes me want to say like a leech or a mosquito or something, right? Alaskan interior, I guess ska. Sure. Ah, Rocky is a fighter and shaky means Rocky. Is this an acrostic? Yes, it is. Acrostic is a word. It's a kind of word puzzle. And a cross tick sounds like an angry little sucker. Freedom of speech. Is this right? R-I-T-E? It's like a word that sounds like a word that means freedom. R-I-G-H-T. I'll pencil that, I guess. Nectars, of course. Ov. O o ovile. Ovile. O v i a l. It's a vial of like O positive blood, maybe but I'm not aware of that having anything to do with alcohol or much of anything else. Oh, this looks like Israel, maybe? Israel something. Hey, an African animal is hyena. Yeah, hey, an, okay. Are we just looking for Israelites here? I don't get it. Word seen in sales signs, less, L-E-S-S -S is seen starting here. I'm so glad we have the L because without it, I wouldn't really know what to do, but less. Word a pen, oh, oh my God, it's neap. That's a kind of tide and we have a pen. Anagram to neep. Oof. Something to stare at in a garden. Is aster a thing? Does that exist? Maybe it's a kind of flower or... Oh my gosh, is this like Serengeti somehow? I don't quite understand how it's a green site. Ah, Serengeti. I didn't know that was how you spelled it. Now I do. Contents of the tackle box. Like, I think this is a T, because Aster, right? Get food to pair. Reap. You reap uh, like a fruit that you might need to pare down. Okay. This is looking a lot like elopers, I must say.
contents of D tackle box. Oh, there's no S though. Well, okay. I guess there's an S here. S A. But there's no S close enough to an A that I could take six letters in a row and rearrange them to this, right? So I guess it's just not suit. We already have elopers suggesting that it wasn't, and now this is suggesting it also. So I don't know, maybe it's not Trump suit at all. It seemed pretty clever to me, but maybe it requires too much specialized knowledge and they wouldn't put it in here. So now we have tackle, A-T-E. Well, we need We either need all of these to include A-T-E, which would mean we need C-K-L, and it seems pretty clear that's impossible, or else we need these three and three more next to them. So either D-O-F, or like, huh. Nothing seems to work for that, does it? Mm. All right, anyway, we made some cool progress, but let's let's get going. Or apologies, S A I don't see any five letters in here that mean apologies or something. Spacers in outer space. So might it be <clears throat> using these letters come up with something that means spacers? I don't quite see how. Zero MPG, say. Well, if it gets zero miles per gallon, it doesn't work very well, but I'm not sure how to make that an answer. I don't understand DEO still, by the way. Like, I get that it's OED, that's why I put it in, but I, like, notice all the other stuff here is like words. I don't know what DO means. Long O in passcode. Uh, not sure what to do with that. Luff? No, Luff. Two L's. Oh, it's full, but being read upwards. or backwards, probably upwards, right? Yeah. Full up, if you are full up on something, you are all set? I don't know. Capital where love is a more. Well, Roma, oops. We're anagramming Amor, and Roma is the Italian name for Rome, which is a capital, a place in which love means Amor. Did he run for office in India? Did he run for office? in India. Don't know. Let's look at some downs, I guess. Amount of corn per cob. Uh, 
I kind of wanted this to be an anagram of a mount, and then it could say like an something, right? Something that uses like M U A M U O T, but it doesn't seem to be. Amount of corn per cob? I guess it could be an earful. Yeah, that sounds about right, actually. That's just a wordplay, not not any uh, anagram, just a pun, right? You have about an earful of corn. Ovile? Bottle O. Bottle O vice, ovide, E F G H I J K L, bottle O vial, I don't get it. M N O vine, O P vipe, Q R O vire, S vice, vice. T, vite, not sure what that would mean. Even if I change this to an A, vita is a little bit like blood, but still weird. U, V, viv, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah, I still don't know what's going on with this. Group from GA, which one assumes is Georgia, en route. Hmm. Rising in the distance. So maybe we look in like the distance for something that means rising and has an R. It doesn't seem that way because there's no dang R's over there. Raising cats and dogs. Well, those are pets. And if we read pets raising from the bottom up, uh, we, we get something that looks more like step. They sound like hassles for window washers. So sound like suggests some sort of homophone, perhaps. Hassles for window washers. Pains. The hassle is a pain, and window washers, uh, pains are in a sense for window washers. Made me a Japanese appetizer. I don't know what Japanese appetizers are. Rice? I don't know. <laughs> Together at the airport. That's six letters. Airport is seven. Hmm. Don't know. That N is kind of suspicious, but it tells me, I guess, that it's not a wordplay based on the words in the clue anyway, because there's an N. A superstar athlete. Pele, yeah, sure. This is quite luxurious. I don't know. T or polo initially. Well, those are both shirts. Could it just be SHI initially? No, top. The initials, i.e. first letters of T, or, and polo are T, O, and P. And that is a kind of, you know, a shirt is a kind of top. Shack with 50, it's a tie. Don't know. It's a tie is six letters. Hmm. Where philosopher John Stewart cuts wood. Oh, geez, I have no idea what this is about. 
I do notice an L. Could it possibly be Hilo <laughs> from Philosopher? I don't know. I don't know what Hilo means. Start of a tangle. Hmm. A web, a net? Maybe net. Net, those letters are in tangle. So like you anagram tangle to be net ang <laughs> net gall <laughs> and then you take the beginning and it's just net easy I don't know about that one spiel's conclusion well a spiel is like a talk it's a it's a rant it's conclusion I'm not sure Like the samurai in training, this is too long to figure out. That makes sense. I see is what I might say in a normal crossword. But there's no I in all of this stuff. Very much my sort of look. I can't believe I got so many answers, by the way. Some of this stuff is just so bizarre. Tapes body parts. Tapes body parts. I don't know. $1,000 commercial. Well, a thousand is a G, and a commercial is an ad, but I don't know exactly like how gad is supposed to be interpreted as a word. Maybe it is one. Oh, I spelled gad wrong. Should be a D, of course. Ugh, I hate this. I just wish it would all fit on my screen, but I just can't live in that world. I wonder. Ugh. I mean, like, I could... I could delete... Uh, like, where is it? Well, first of all, I'll delete this element. It sucks. Um... But the one I meant was this element. Uh, I, I could delete this element. What, here? No, here? That didn't help. <laughs> I want to delete the one that like is useless up here, whatever. All right, I haven't accomplished anything with that. Um, Need to be more revenue to get out of debt, I assume, right? There'd need to be more revenue. Is there some way I can make that work? Yes. Oh, very good. Look at that. There'd need to be more revenue to get out of the red. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, this looks like it ends with up, right? Still don't know what it is, but uh, did we do all the acrosses yet? Also, like, somehow I have even less vertical space than I used to. No, I don't know. I guess this is about what I always have. But I can make it a little bit bigger, I guess. $1,000 commercial. I mean, it's looking like GAD. I don't know why, but... Anyway, um... URR. Hurried means hide and hurry. They're synonyms. 
And if we put H-I-E-D in the blanks, we get hurried. What a Twitter username does. Well, tweet, kind of, right? Like, the username doesn't. But, like, the person who owns the username does. I don't think that's what they're looking for, though. All right, let's see if there are any downs that we haven't, like, really figured out yet. This still could be ire, but like I'm not in love with it. Temporarily, temporarily gave up before Easter. Is this like Lent? Is that all they're asking for? Temporarily gave up? Yes, it is. Sort of. So Easter, mm, Lent is a holiday sometime near Easter. I don't know if it's before or after where you like temporarily give something up. Um, but it's in the neighborhood of Easter anyway. And Lent also means temporarily gave up. Like I, I, t I lent away a book. I no longer have it temporarily, right? Um, and also Lent is before Easter, apparently. So I think this can be Lent. Result of a contract dispute, something, geez, I don't know. And this is just weird. I, I was hoping this could somehow be Israeli, is, Israelite or something. But we seem to have like these letters. It looks like elopers. It looks like Lent. Belief at heart. Could this be something to do with lie? Like... E-L-I-E -E is like at the heart of the word belief, right? But I don't know why, if E-L-I-E -E is a word, what it's supposed to mean, right? I guess I'll pencil it, having no better ideas. Debate. Rebate. I don't know. Like, hair dryers are full of air in a kind of weird sense, right? And also air fills in, like, right there. I'll try it, I guess. Ah, Israel born must be a thing they said. I don't know what the hell Eli is. But so is this debate? Tackle box? Oh, a deal. Some sort of deal, right? Is what you would have as a result of a contract dispute. You would eventually reach a deal. Or maybe you would break up the deal or something. And debate... I don't quite understand how I'm supposed to figure that out from this clue. It's a word, which is nice. Um, D-E-T-A-B-E, -E, like, but why those letters? I don't know. I think there's some like rules I'm still not getting or some conventions that I don't understand. Uh, okay, I have several letters in this now, right? I just still can't think of it. Later warning. I don't know. It also might not be pose. Proposers. Tyrant. Well... Looking, I have P, E, and R here, and we have, what, nine letters? How many letters in proposers? Nine. So I think we want to anagram the word proposers to something that means tyrant. 
right? We already have, is it, it's not emperor, no. Oppressor. Does that work? O P P R O. Yes, right. Because we have the second S from proposers. I was like, I only see one S, but no, there's another one here. So oppressor is a is a tyrant. Is this a tip jar? Pro jet. It's like the word jar, but kind of tipped over. <laughs> a tip jar is a thing. Oral, kind of exam, yes. You can have oral exams and vector algebra contains oral. Dasani, finally, geez. PDA, I see, anagram pad, kissing outside of your pad, i.e. in public is a public display of affection. Later warning, you anagram later, you get alert. Spanish train, is Trent a river in England? Oh, Tren is Spanish for train, now that I think of it. Maybe there's a river named T. <laughs> it. And we have a G. Ah, yes, indeed, it is a T. Because these are both IT girls, right? They, uh, they are women's names with the uh, initials IT. Ah, saris. Our um, sorry is like a address, and if you have more than one of them, you would call them sorries, and that kind of means apologies. It's a little bit like not my favorite wordplay, but okay. Gun range org in part. N R A are three letters in gun range in order. Spacers. In outer space. Oh, I see. We weren't looking for a word that means spacers in outer space. Rather, we were looking for an anagram of spacers, which means spacers when you're in outer space. And parsecs are ways to measure distance, i.e. space, when you are in space. Whew. Making a lot more progress here than I thought we would. Does a priest go on them? How many letters is this? Eight? Go on them? Is eight letters, right? So is a priest go, for what it's worth. I kind of want this to end with S for plural. So that means we're looking for a priest go, and we have EOTS, which means we want APR. Wait. Am I counting something wrong? How many letters are in a priest go? Oh, too many. So it would be just priest go. So we have EOTS, which means we want P-R-I-G, ego trips. Does a priest go on ego trips? We'll never know. Long O in passcode. Log on? Yes. Log on is an anagram of these five letters. I don't quite understand what it has to do with passcode or long O. Like you use, you use a passcode to log on. I'm, I'm all right with that, but long O? I don't get it. Foreign language question for the comatose. Como esta? How are you doing? But you, 
Oh, yeah, and that's an anagram of comatose, I guess. Start of a tangle. T-A-L-K starts means something starting with snap. Uh, snap? I don't know what this is about. Made me a Japanese Japanese appetizer. I don't know. It's interesting that it ends with an E and not like. Uh... Oh, that means it's probably an anagram of something, right? Not like something that means made. It's an anagram of something. It has seven letters. So made me a made me a edamame. Stuffed up. If you're full, you're stuffed. And if we read this clue upwards, we see full. Kiss, oh, rising in the distance. I was still thinking of kissing up here, I guess. Is this irate? Zero rate, O rate? Raph. Yes, in the distance means far. And if you read that rising, you get raf or far. So I think this is O rate, right? You have a zero rate, and O is kind of like a zero, and orate is a word. Oof. All right, where were we? Roll in a scene from Quo Vadis. I don't know what Quo Vadis is. So I'm going to have trouble figuring out who this could be. I do notice, though, that we have the S and the A in six letters. So maybe we should rearrange A-C-E-N in here. Sasena? San Sen Seneca? Oh, right, we need an extra E. I have this, like, I don't know what Seneca is, but it's like a proper name of a person or a place or something, right? Hmm. Together at the airport. Un... <sighs> Un what? I don't know. What about this across? We have some things. Not enough to do much with, though, I think. <sighs> Something deal. I don't know. Maybe a union deal? I don't see any G's in the clue. Hmm. It's quite luxurious. I still don't get what this is about. What's taken from a flashlight for a flight? Lash? You have to take away the letters L-A-S-H to turn flashlight into flight. So that's fine. O'Neill, I guess. Is it, is it spelled with an A or an I? I feel like it's an A, even though like a sort of more normal spelling would be an I, I think. One all? Yes, it's a tie, one all. Good. The, the clue uh, sort of checked itself for me because it gave me the answer twice. Neru? He run? And I like Neru is a plausible name for an Indian person that I should know about but don't. So what is this all about now? S 
still don't know. Well, what about these acrosses though? Spiel's conclusion. I mean, Spiel is German for game, but or not game. Like, um, I know they have like a Spiel is like a big. They have a big like convention that is called like Spiel in gaming circles, board gaming circles. Um, but I don't think that Spiel means board gaming. I think it means more like convention or something. Am I really being asked to say I C I C E E? N no big deal. <laughs> yes, a contract is a big deal. And if you're having a dispute, you will not get one. So you will have no big deal. Unbelievable. Spielberg. Yes, okay, sure. That's a. You can conclude Spiel with Berg, and you arrive at Spielberg. I, I really think we're being asked. Oh, I, this would be an R. An entourage. Now, why is that GA en route? Got it. Ovine? Bottle of vine. I see. It's not about blood at all. It's about his accent. I think I can fill in Seneca now that I have all these crosses. Okay, so I see in quotes is a, is a kind of hint that it's about a sounds like clue. We had that somewhere else as well. Log on, maybe? Well, no, passcode. Hmm. There was one somewhere though. Apologies, something sounds like sorry's. So this is, I guess, means it's some, it sounds like something that means that makes sense, I see. But actually it's an icy, like a, a, a frozen drink. Like the samurai in training. How many letters is that? 10, right? I mean, samurai is six letters. So we can't add, we can't make it just out of whole words from the clue. I'm just not like we have the A, A, I, S, E, like these are all in the clue. Not that that's too surprising. Those are relatively common letters. But it's like, you know, maybe it's like this, right? I, I don't know, but. It... Really? Oh, I, I was reading this wrong. I thought it said book and I might, and I was like, it's tome, really? But no, my sort of look, is, something that's my sort of look is so me, I guess. Who heard a French kiss? Moi, toi, Leroy? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to figure out. Ah, it's moi. Because moi is a sound that sounds a bit like a kissing sound, right? You go moi. Okay. Un. What is this like? Untied? United. United means together. And at the airport, United is an air carrier. He's an amateur. He's amateurish. A samurai in training. So, oh, I miscounted the number of letters in samurai. That was the problem. Seven here plus the amateurish. K 
Concerning a star of the crying game? I don't know who is in the crying game. Get out of here. Tapes body parts. Well, now we know it's probably an anagram of tapes, right? And it probably ends with S, but maybe not, I guess. Oh, no. It's, it's an anagram of tapes, but it doesn't have to mean tapes. Rather, these are septa, right? Plural of septum is septa, and those are body parts. Oh, this is so good. Ah, something quite luxurious is lush, and we're just putting an S in front of that to mean sh slush. As in, if you were to say it's, it's quite luxurious, you might instead say, this is slush. And now Mill makes some sense. John Stuart Mill, I suppose, must be the philosopher's full name. And you cut wood at a mill. A Twitter username has at in it, I think. There must be a character in the crying game named A, and this is Re-A, I guess. Snap chat, ah, talk means chat. But why is the, I, I actually got it right. I solved this whole thing, by the way. Very, very pleased with myself. But why, what does this have to do with snap? Have we taken the word talk and snapped it in half? Is that the joke? Huh. Well, this has been quite an eye opener. Um, and I'm pleased with myself for figuring it all out for sure. Some of them are still a little bit mysterious to me. Um, like, aren't these most, like, these are almost all words, right? Like, ovine even is a word. It means, you know, like a cow. No, that's bovine. Ovine is like a... Like a bear? No, that's ursine. What is ovine? Like a pig? No, a, a, a sheep. Right, sheep are ovine. Um, but I can't see how Eli is a word. What, like, let me look that up, I guess. Okay, there's... <sighs> there's a people named Eli. Like apparently Ellie, okay, is a is a is a like a nickname for Ellen. Um com comes from Hebrew El meaning God. Oh, short for Eleanor more often. El meaning God and or meaning light. But belief at heart. There I feel like yeah, obviously I see how your the clue is like, oh, at the heart of belief is Eli, but they're all, all of the rest of these are words that you could write a non-punny clue for. And I don't understand this one. And likewise, I don't really understand how debate. Ah, got it. So normally bait it would be stored in a tackle box spelled B-A-I-T. I don't, and, and so that's why it's like kind of a wordplay. I don't quite understand how we're supposed to know which letters of the tackle box to make up a debate. But maybe you're supposed to figure it out from the, the anagram part, or the, the, you're supposed to say bait, oh, debate would be in the tackle box, I guess, and then realize it's supposed to be spelled differently. I don't know. I'm still questioning that one. What else do I see? Oh, Dio. I also don't know what that's all about. If you look at Dio, you just like don't find anything. I mean, the deputy executive officer or whatever, but. Short for deodorant, says Wiktionary. I'm not sure about that. Huh. I don't totally understand how we were supposed to get log on. 
from like what does passcode have to do with it is the thing i'm not sure But most of the rest of these, I, I kind of see what they were going for. And a lot of them were fun. I just wish I understood Eli. <sighs> Apparently there's like a, a person named Eli or L-E whatever, Wiesel who seems relatively famous-ish. If you search for these letters, you just get that person mostly. Huh. All right, anyway, I guess we're, we're done with uh, the bonus puzzle today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. It was a, it was a fun one to struggle through. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.